I did some damage. And now I'm gonna show you guys the damage I did. I wanna start off with this. Unfortunately, the pop-up will be done by the time this video is up. However, I did go to the Durf Avenue pop-up in New York. Actually, the top I'm wearing is one of the pieces I got. I'm obsessed. Like, I love the pieces. I think she's beautiful. From a business standpoint, thought the pop-up was ran very smoothly. I was, like, thinking about it. They were giving out water, protein bars, and line talking to people, interviewing them, interacting with the line, making it go by faster. That's the worst part about a pop-up. Waiting in line. I waited two hours on the second day to get in. Got there pretty early, like, right before they opened open and I still waited but the inside was stunning beautiful it was more beauty focused I thought there would be more clothing items but that's on me for not like really looking into it I just assumed but I got two things so like I said I got this top and this is a size small I tried it in extra small I just I didn't like the way it fit I got a blazer as well this blazer is in a size small I was between a medium and a small the medium was a little too oversized for me I'm at a point in my life where I'm only buying clothes if it's like a special occasion like this is a pop-up I have an event I need to go to or if they're on sale like that is there's no reason to ever buy clothes other than those two reasons I already have a really nice black blazer from Aritzia that I like and I don't have a gray one so I was like you know what? I'm gonna get so much use out of this it's really nice I'm really happy with it I'm obsessed she's giving business casual chic and I'm trying to build my capsule wardrobe and I just feel like this is going to be a piece that I will be wearing a lot cute I love it. Pop-up girls were so sweet, so beautiful. I literally was there today. And I regret not getting the styling gel. I I was like, do I need this? Because I started using something else. Like a, I used to use that stick that I feel like everyone has. Is it from the brand Bedhead or whatever? I feel like it was literally making my hair fall out. <laughs> It was just too heavy for my hair. I have fine hair and there was just no reason I needed that stick. And so I started using a styling gel recently and I wish I bought hers because it smells amazing. I was checking out and I rubbed it on my hand because I was like, mm, do I really need this? And I still smell it. And for some reason, the smell is so nostalgic to me. It smells amazing. I don't know how to describe it. It's so clean and I regret not getting it. So I might have to try it out sometime soon. Anyways, okay, let's get into the other clothing items. I am a sucker for the real reels manolo collection they have the best manolos and i think i just get so lucky because i have smaller feet i'm a size six and a half um but in manolos i'm a 37 and a half and i just score it every time like i i I'm, i feel so lucky like they bless me every time i'm on there scrolling as i do and i see these manolos and they gave me credit so I got a pair last week too that I paid $6 for it because they gave me credit because I was selling with them and I have it saved to my size and I just like scroll sometimes and I saw these and I was like, fuck, I feel like I will wear those so much. Oh my God, they're, they're so cute. Okay, shut up, shut up. Oh my gosh, I scored. Tell me I won't wear these all summer. And the heel is so perfect where I, I love a little kitten heel. These are timeless. I love the brown color as well. I had a coupon. I think they ended up being like $80. Like what? And then I got these last week for $6. Like, <laughs> hello. I obviously had to buy them. We'll be wearing these all summer as well. Like look how timeless. Like this is a timeless heel sandal. Like... <laughs> What am I trying to say? Anyways, next we have free people. For the longest time, I have been looking for a really nice beach bag. Like, and I'm so specific because I had ones that just have taken up so much room in my carry-on or my suitcase, whatever. And I want to find a nice one that can fit my whole life when I go to the beach. That can flatten down in my suitcase so I can you know, take it places and it not take up my whole suitcase. And it's still like lightweight. And I was on Free People's website the other day. So I'm looking for a dress, for my cousin's wedding. And I come across this and I'm like, oh my God, I have been looking for a beach bag that's big like this and just like slouchy, carefree for the longest time. So I hope you like this. Guys, come on. This is exactly what I was looking for. Yes, I love how huge it is. Like I feel like I could put my whole life in this to the beach my beach towel that's something too like i'm like i need to put my beach towel and everything in here let's throw the manolas in this looks crazy oh my gosh this has so much room and i love the tan color it came in black and stuff too but i i just don't like i'm going to the beach like i don't want to wear i'm done not wearing all black like something i realized this year is that i need to stop wearing all black like i need to try to wear other colors i'm so used to just gravitating towards black and wearing all black but sometimes Things just look better when there's other colors. It's gonna be perfect for my bikinis. I put my whole life in it. I love how salty it is. 
Um, inside, is there any zippers? There's a zipper. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, yeah, there's a zipper inside to put my, you know, smaller items. Perfection. Let me go look at it in the mirror to make sure. Yes, 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 a thousand times yes. This is exactly what I wanted. I can put it in my suitcase and make it really small. Perfect. The last thing we have is from Abercrombie. I typically don't shop there, but I was influenced. <laughs> I was influenced right away. Like, you know, whenever you see something that someone wears and you're like, yeah, I need that right now. And I know I'm going to wear that forever. I saw this girl. Her name's Lonnie. She's so cute. She does fashion things. And I saw her wear this dress and I was like, I know I will wear that for the rest of my life, basically. I actually ordered it once. I got it. It was way too big on me, so I reordered it. I hope these sizes fit me. I got two colors. That's how obsessed I was with this dress. An extra small in black and yellow and then an XX small because it was so big I wanted to try on to see which one fit me better. I'm gonna try these on and show you guys. I'm obsessed. This definitely is my size. This is just a normal extra small. I put it on with my new manolas. This is such a cute outfit in this beach bag. Okay, I'm like ready. I'm ready for summer, guys. I am. And this dress has pockets. The manolas with it. This is so fucking cute. It's like a bunch of gold jewelry. I actually really like this yellow color too. I feel like I would never really buy something like this. That is like a pale yellow. Oh my gosh, with some sunnies on. This is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna try on the black one as well because I feel so chic in this. I This is it in black. I love it with these shoes too. It's linen, so it's perfect for summer. I had to get it in black. Like, I just feel like I'm gonna wear this so much. I feel so cute. I love it. I'm very happy with my purchases. Let me clean up my whole room now. I've been in such a mess from trying everything on. I love a little haul. I love dresses so much and when I see a good dress, I have to, I have to act on it, okay? I have a problem with dresses. Okay, thank you. My life's a mess right now, but when is it not? I'm over my bangs. They were cute, they were a winter vibe. I'm over them. Like, I want them to grow out. They're just so annoying right now. I feel like I look older without them, which is like, duh because they're bangs, because I feel like bangs are kind of like younger. We just have them pinned back right now. I'm going to put this top, look at my apartment, it's such a mess. I'm going to put this top on my pickle if any of the New York girlies want to rent it. I'm just going to wear it tonight and then list it afterwards because I've been wearing it so much. And you know, whenever you start wearing something, you're like, okay, we need to take a break because now I think it's ugly, which this shirt is so cute, but I've just been wearing it so much that I'm like, <laughs> you get used to it. We take things for granted. So I'm like, oh my gosh, is this shirt ugly? I need to just take a breather from it, so I'm gonna list some pickle. I'm not even gonna show you guys my outfit because my room's a mess, I can't. Let's go. <laughs> I texted Christina, so I was like, I feel so ugly today. Oh yeah. And I said I relate, so. And then she was like, let's be ugly together. Yeah, my hair is not hairing today, I feel. Oh. Speaking of, Christina literally punched me in the face yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't even with her yesterday. I had to think about it because I've been sick. I know, why did you have to think about it? I just going to start a rumor about you, but you said you had to think about start it. A, I start a rumor about you with that. Oh, I will take one of those. Thank you. What do you guys start about me? I am going to... Actually, you know what's so funny is one time I put in my Twitter drafts I was gonna start some ridiculous rumor about somebody and I forget who it was. <laughs> so dumb. I put in my Twitter drafts, I said I'm gonna start a rumor that you don't have Amazon Prime. <laughs> Cause it's like who doesn't have Amazon Prime? You know I did. Yeah, fuck okay. her, she doesn't even have Amazon Prime. I know you didn't because you were trying to be all sustainable and shit. <laughs> it didn't work out. Well, <laughs> I tried. Everyone you can only do so much in this world, okay? You can only do so much, especially in New York. You need Amazon Prime. There's like, no reason why like, you shouldn't have Amazon Prime. Especially in New York. It's like one of the five four essentials of living. Shelter, food, water, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. I feel like there's another one, but I'm, I don't know. You know why I fucked up? I try not to use Amazon Prime. I go to the drugstore, everything's fucking locked up. I can't even get a razor anymore without having to call a sales associate. I'm like, I just put Amazon Prime the razor instead. I just want shit fast. Like, if I order something at 8 p.m., it's there at 8 a.m. No, the but day. you can't even get it fast anymore in the drugstores. It's like, it's no, like, I know. It's like, takes more time to get the sales associate over instead of just ordering on Amazon Prime. Oh. I'm only gonna have a lot of like connection in here to show you guys my Amazon Prime history. Oh, sticks, knives, jewelry. Right, Christina, we're done here. We're done. You finally decided to hang out with me. <laughs> Listen, I had a rough 
few weeks. I feel so much better now. Christina, Christina canceled on me uh, like three times. Three times in the last two weeks. I uh, sent her a voice memo and I was like, hey, I love you, but oh please God. stop doing that. This is our crazy Saturday night out. Well, in, and then we're going to- Well, yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna go to the, uh, do chats anyways. Yeah, we're going to do chats it's in Brooklyn. It's supposed to be like really cute. It's we tried like to around. actually go there one time. And it was so busy. We tried to go on a double date there. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now we have a res, so we should be able to get like a little table. But yeah, me and Christina tried to go there once with a guy that I went on a date with, and then he made out with two men, and then did cut me on Thanksgiving, so we had to stop. And talking. I was actually just gonna, I was just about to tell you that I saw him <laughs> yesterday. Oh, really? Like he came here. What? Wait, me. let me. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should talk about this off camera. That's, that's it. I was just tugging at it. Oh, okay. it kind of... That looks cute on you. I'm wearing sweatpants right now. Christina's trying on all my clothes. I know. Period. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> extra small, and that's okay. my size, but then this is the extra, extra small. Okay. That one, that's your size. Yeah, this definitely fits way better. That's so cute on you. Isn't it perfect? And it's no, so it's lightweight. Really cute. And then here's the blazer. Here's oh my, my God. whole wardrobe. <laughs> Give me all your items. What size that's is this? That's a small. Okay. That's a small blazer. I love mine from Aritzia, but I like your blazers a lot too. You should try to my How? one from Aritzia. How? If it's too big or not. I think it's too big on me. Right, you. okay. Like, it's even a little big on me, but I, I feel like I, I want to uh, wear, like, hoodies. It looks yeah. yeah. It. I know. Just tried on my whole closet. Rent it from me. Yeah. <laughs> Air cream on the face. Then a layer of Cicloplast on the face. <gasps> then. How much Cicloplast do you have left? You take some. Is there, I don't want to take it. It depends on how much you usually use. I don't know. I feel like I put a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy no, it. No, no, no. You can't buy it here. It's different. What? It's different than in Europe here. I know. But I, fuck, I'm not going to Europe soon. You are. You can bring it back for me, but I need it now. <laughs> I didn't even bring myself back it. I know. I'm, I'm mad about it. Uh, whatever. I'll have to get it. Um. I'll bring it back when I go. Okay. What, what the fuck did you give me to wear? <laughs> oh my god. Oh what my am I god. wearing? <laughs> That's a mat. Okay. Matt gave me this shirt one day. It looks like something Matt gave you. Yeah, but it's <laughs> Matt hates it. I feel like I also hate it. His friend like made, like drew that little fucking creature and like put it on a shirt. Oh, I'm sorry Matt's friend, but I don't no, know. No, it's weird. Like, <laughs> Do you like these that I just got? Those are my It's very you. I know. Of course. Oh, do we need to like preheat the oven? Yeah, I tried to turn on your oven, but it seemed a little too rich for me. <laughs> it, yeah, this oven is so fucking weird. Right. So. Oh. How long does it say to bake these for? You're supposed to deduct three minutes. What? You're supposed to deduct three minutes from whatever it really says, so they're gooey in the middle. When I ordered sweet chick, I also ordered like just two chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> and then the next day, me and Matt were going to Ikea, and Matt's like, yeah. It's so bad. Oh my god, it's been so bad, all my habits. No, they're like perfect. Oh, awesome. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Damn, they sell like oh, vanilla washer. I'm currently at the Ludlow Hotel. Hero Cosmetics hired me to do some assets for them, and I was like, you know what, I want to film stuff, I want it to look nice. I'll book the Ludlow tonight for me. <laughs> Their bathroom's just gorgeous and that's where I wanted to shoot the content. So I was like, yeah, this makes sense. I was shooting some personal things as well. Now I'm eating Sweet Chick and I've heard amazing things about it. I've never gotten it. Everyone in New York always talks about it. So I'm really, really excited. Let's get into it. I got mukbang. <laughs> People still do that. This is probably so gross and I'm wearing makeup, but I don't give a fuck. I am starving. Got the mac and cheese. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love when they put panko on top. I've never been inside Sweet Chick. I didn't know it's like a sit-down place. I thought it was more grab and go. Oh, that's hot. I think it's pretty good. I think the noodles are just a little overcooked for me. And I kind of wish there was a little bit of pepper on it. The cheese is cheesing. Mm. I got the, I think just regular chicken sandwich kind of looking like Chick-fil-A. You already know this bun's about to slap. And look at that. Wow, look at that in there. The sauce looks amazing. Yeah, this bun, there's pickles. Oh my gosh, I fucking love pickles. Okay, let's go in. Oh, oh yeah, way better than the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is a little underwhelming to me, but this, I mean, they're known for their chicken. 
This is fire. I get it now. I understand the hype. The chicken's doing everything that I wanted the chicken to do. Yeah, I mean, my news is good. I don't think I would get it again. But this sandwich, oh yeah. I would get, oh, fuck, it's falling everywhere. I would get the sandwich again. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna rot right here and eat this all and then regret my decision. I'm getting this in like 15 minutes probably. And just like that, 15 minutes later, I regret getting the chicken sandwich and mac and cheese and now I am so stuffed and tired. I'm gonna take off my makeup. It's already seven. I woke up really early this morning because some girl came to pick up a dress that she rented from me off of Pickle. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't realize my hair is like that. It's my first time ever using Pickle. It's a service in New York. I think they just launched in LA as well that you can rent people's clothes nearby. So you can like go pick it up or I think you can have a carrier come get it like a door dasher literally come get the item and drop it off to you put some of my stuff on there like some of my like nicer dresses that i don't wear so much stuff like that that people could rent for like an occasion it's kind of like rent the runway newly but locally my friends do it all the time I'm cleaning up my countertop but my friends do use it all the time and i was like you know what i should like put some of my stuff on here because i have such good dresses and just like other things that are nice that they're just sitting in my closet. So I put some of my dresses on there. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to check it out. If, you, if you're in New York City, you can rent my items. Um, but the girl came this morning at like 7 a.m. And I was so tired and I couldn't go to sleep last night. So I just decided to stay up after she came and got it. Also, I just got this new toothbrush. This is not like the nicest toothbrush case ever. This electronic toothbrush. It's actually so nice too. I'm, it's called Sorry. So chic nice black so many brands have sent me electronics toothbrushes recently but i think this might be my favorite one it's like supposed to be really sustainable i don't really know it's like oh it sounds cool and i used it today i was like oh this is nice as fuck i love this toothbrush but i just got done shooting a bunch of the stuff for hero i need to do some things in the morning because they want to show me applying the product and taking it off in the morning so i'm gonna do that in the morning and like sleep with the pimple patches on i love their pimple patches too so really excited to be working with them i need to take off my makeup and shower the shower is so nice it's so cold because it's raining but yeah i mean i just smell like my hands just straight up smell like chicken okay we need to wash my hands okay that's better i'm going to take off my makeup i got this cleansing bar from elemis and i i mean cleansing balm that i think i just said bar this is a travel one but i have the big one first of all i didn't know this cleansing balm was so expensive christina's friend raquel works for the brand and i tried christina's one time i think in january whenever we went away to long island together i was like shut up i think i love this cleansing balm and i have used i swear wear every cleansing balm, Pharmacy, Dermalogica, Kiehl's, like every single brand I've used their cleansing balm. I would say this one and the Dermalogica pre-cleanse are my favorite. This one just like, I don't know, this one just makes your face feel so soft afterwards. It's so like thick that I feel like it's getting everything off. I'm obsessed with this and it's so expensive. But I feel like skincare is just something that I'm totally willing to invest in because of, well, I'm breaking out. I just, I mean, it's my face. Like, it's going to make such a big difference in my life. I'm really obsessed with this one. I even put on my eyes. Like, I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but like, it takes everything off and just melts away. I remember the first time I ever used a cleansing balm. I was like, oh my gosh, I love this. Instead of a makeup wipe, it really changed the game for me. And I will never go back to makeup wipes. I only use makeup wipes if I'm like drunk or desperate or ex extremely tired. Because I do have them. And they do come in handy. And sometimes you're like, girl, just give me a makeup wipe. Good morning. I have a beautiful stack of buttermilk pancakes. <gasps> 
calling my name and the butter just slid off. I think there's lemon in this. Oh my god. I just took a bite. This is everything I needed. As between this and like eggs. Like girl, I don't know why I wanted eggs. Mm-hmm. I made a great decision. I think I filmed everything I needed to film while I was here. Um, two more hours until I check out. So I'm gonna import all my footage, check everything over, make sure it's good, and back to my apartment. Like I just feel so like luxe, like I have to go back to my apartment. I'm gonna robe eating buttermilk pancakes overlooking the city. I don't wanna do that. <sighs> Reality hits. I'm already, I just packed everything up. I'm checking out. This bathroom is stunning, guys. I could live in this bathroom, but I have everything over here. Gotta go back to my apartment. Unfortunately, the dream is over and reality is hitting. So gloomy. I have so much to edit and work on today. I honestly should just stay here and work, but I need to go back to my apartment. I hate having like all this stuff here. Bye, hotel. I don't know if I said this. I'm staying at the Ludlow. I think I've said this before, but every time I post this hotel, everyone asks me where I'm staying. It's the Lower East Side. I love this hotel. It's just amazing. The bar downstairs is amazing. You can work down there. There's a fireplace. It's so cozy, and it's also attached to Dirty French, the restaurant. It's just so nice. I love it. And the bathroom. The bathroom is the best part.